Welcome to another edition of Chaplain John with Chaplain John Sayers, featuring special reports and interviews with people doing kingdom ministry in Tulare County and beyond. And now, here's Chaplain John. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> okay, yeah, today's my birthday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And I know that sounds maybe kind of self, uh, self whatever, uh, singing to myself. But I have to tell you uh, what God is showing, revealing to me on my birthday. Actually, I think this started Saturday. Saturday, we had a great event here and, and on John Maxwell, The 15 Laws of Valuable Growth. And there's a little workbook we had. And there were about 70 of us there. It's fantastic. Uh, Paul Everett was our speaker. John Maxwell, certified speaker. Oh, he was fantastic. And by the way, in August, Paul Everett, we're going to set up another one on parenting, which is really great, but that's down the road. But I, you know, I, it, this, seminar caused me to look within myself of how areas I need to grow. And, um, and so it started, a little seed was started Saturday. Um, Sunday, it revealed, uh, you see, we all have the same purpose. If, if you have a relationship with Jesus, let me give you one purpose we all have, and that's to glorify God. Jesus came to glorify the Father. When we say, why did Jesus die on the cross? Well, he said, for our sins. Yes, but to give God glory. That's what we're created for, to give God glory. And so how do I do that? And, how, and, and that hit on me in my passion. I think we all are called to give God glory. And he's given us a passion to do that. And I got to think for a long time, I've always thought, um, I just want to be a cheerleader. You know, and I, maybe I've wanted to be a cheerleader ever since I started my relationship with Jesus back at 10 years old. Uh, when I, even when I was at camp, I wanted to be a cheerleader. As a counselor, I wanted to be, a, as a director, I wanted to be a cheerleader. Uh, later on, when I became a pastor, I think I really wanted to be a cheerleader. Uh, a chaplain, I wanted to be a cheerleader. And today, I think I still want to be a cheerleader. And Sunday morning, I started thinking, uh, how, how, I, what, what I, how do I define a cheerleader? Not like you see your cheerleaders today. I'm sorry. You'll go to high school games and football games, and cheerleaders are not the same kind of cheerleaders we had growing up. You see, the cheerleaders today, they want to put on a show or performance, a cute dance they're doing or whatever. They're not getting the crowd engaged with the game with them, but to get with them. They want the focus to be on them. That's not cheerleaders. In my days, cheerleaders were closer to the crowd. Uh, they weren't that far back, closer to the crowd. And they gave us cheers to get involved in the game, to be in the game. <laughs> um, first and 10, do it again. Remember that first and 10? Or kick kick them back, kick them back, way back. I'm trying to think of all these cliches. We just would yell and scream. Um, and we would get involved in the game. And I think that also encouraged the football players too, because let the stands are with them. I think we as Christians are not called to sit in stands, by the way. We're called to be in the game. And we need cheerleaders to get us in that. And I need to be in the game, but I'm also a cheerleader. Um, I want people to be involved in life, be involved in engaging with one another, be involved gauging with God. And I'm and Sunday morning going, yes, that's my passion. I think God's given every one of us a passion. I know the purpose. We all have the same purpose, and that's to glorify God and enjoy him forever, to glorify Jesus, to be a light. We could come up with all these things. I want people, that's our purpose. But every one of us, I think, has a passion. I want to encourage you to find your passion. Maybe you know what it is. Maybe it's teaching. It might be preaching. I think there was a time maybe my passion might have been preaching. I still like to speak now and then at groups. You know, it's funny. Maybe my passion really comes out when I don't say anything. And here I'm talking on this thing. Maybe I should just said, said do this. When I wave walk, I'm, I'm engaging with people. 
they're engaging with me. We're reminding each other to engage with God. And I need that in my life today. I need people to remind me to engage with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. I suppose not only am I a cheerleader, but I need to find people that are a cheerleader for me. Okay, well, uh, may the fourth be with you and uh, find your passion, grow on your passion, which is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. May the fourth be with you.